Okay, so this is just a short video uh, to show you how to use Octave Online in order to uh, do row reduction on a matrix. We'll do other things with a matrix as well, but uh, the row reduction goes very quickly because it's just one command. <clears throat> so you can see by the address here, it's octave um, hyphen online dot net. <clears throat> That's the name of the uh, website. And um, it's um, pretty nice. Uh, right now I'm not signed in, but if you do uh, create an account, <clears throat> you can actually upload files and uh, do some do a lot more other things. Uh, for us, we're just going to be typing some commands in. So uh, let's take a look at the problem that we're uh, trying to solve here. So this is on the class website. We're trying to uh, minimize this um, function given these constraints, and then we translated that into standard form to get this matrix with this uh, right hand side. So this is our AX equal B, right? So I would type in A equals uh, bracket, and now I'm just going to type in the row minus two space one space one space zero zero. That's the end of the row. So to tell MATLAB or Octave that this is the end of the row, uh, use a semicolon. Now type in the next uh, row minus one two zero minus one zero semicolon. Then the last row is one, one, zero, zero, one. And then I want to end this matrix, so put a square bracket at the end. <coughs> now, uh, if you just hit enter after this, it'll type out the matrix. By the way, the up arrow key will give you your last typed in command. <coughs> so I use the up arrow key to get this command back. And now if I type a semicolon at the end, it suppresses the output. So it'll just type out what we have. But the matrix uh, that you see on the screen is still stored in the um, variable A. <coughs> okay. Um, we also have our B, right? And so this is just going to be a vector 1, colon, 5, colon, 7. Now, if you didn't put those semicolons in, what would happen is that this would be a 1 by 3 instead of a 3 by 1. I want this to be a 3 by 1 vector. Okay, so B is looking like that. Good. Now if I want to row reduce the um, um, matrix, I can set a new matrix. Let's, let's maybe set B equal to the matrix. I'll put A here. That'll be the 3 by 5 matrix A. And then I'm going to attach B to the end. And then I'll put another semicolon there, or a square bracket. And then if I just hit enter, I can see that I've, if I've got the right thing or not. And here you see that this is the matrix A with the vector B on, attached. Okay, and now if we just row reduce echelon form B, uh, MATLAB or Octave will go through and do it for us. Good. So now we see what our solution is. Um, this is using basic variables 1, 2, and 3. And so you, you see that the solution is 3, 4, 3. And so going over to the handout, you see that 343 is our solution. I don't know if I can highlight that or not. I guess not. Uh, and then the objective function is a minus 7, which we don't care at this point. Um, okay, so now what if I want to reorder the uh, columns? So for example, what happens if I want to use 234 as my basic variables? Well, I can say B, and then I'll put in A, but now I need to reorder the columns. So I'll put a colon here as a placeholder for all the rows. And then I'm going to reorder the columns as uh, 2, 3, 4. And then I guess, what, what are the other ones left? 1 and 5? OK, so now I've reordered my columns. And I'll put B on the end. <coughs> and now let's double check that uh, that did do it correctly. So uh, this was row 2 first, row 2 first, and then row 3 and row 4, or column. Did I say row? Column 234 comes in, and then we put in um, column, didn't one come after four? Uh, 234, oh, there it is, one, <laughs> five, oh, that's right, one, five, and then B. <coughs> okay, and now we can row reduce echelon form B, and you can see that we get seven minus six, nine for our solution. And that's what we see here in your handout, 7 minus 6, 9.
and we see that because of the minus 6, this is not a feasible solution. Very good. So this is how you would uh, manipulate some of the columns in the matrix A um, and solve for uh, different feasible solutions. Good. All right, I'll stop here and uh, I'll put together a little uh, handout on Octave and MATLAB uh, so we'll be able to do some small comp computations online.